this is going to be a big success. Am I really going to make a cooking video? And I didn't have lunch yet, so that... I gotta be honest with you, I'm not and a Today we are going to make... Two ingredients are essential for the success of this dish. And you cannot get personal and it's a matter of taste. No, these, these, no, no. One Charlie, genuine. And don't you dare use ordinary. If I ever catch you using ordinary bacon, then... Uh. And the second one is San Marzano tomatoes. Well, what more do we need? Garlic. Basil, fresh parsley, uh, some peppers. <laughs> Oops! Whipped cream. And some parmesan cheese. I prefer pecorino romano, but this is what we've got today. This is gonna be a smashing. So looking forward to. to this is flying on here. So now I did the preparations the mise en place so thoroughly, it's time to get uh, the cooking done. Um, tools, utensils. No. Let's see. One pot for the pasta and this one. A padel. I don't know. Yeah, you figure it out. Wait, I forgot one special ingredient. Vodka and a lighter. Especially if you have kids, you have so much fun. Just one more thing. One. Whoa! Whoa! Whoa. Oh. A pasta machine. Wait, can you tell I'm not really experienced? Making a cooking video? Sorry. For those of you that also want to make it. Here I've got this Manfrotto 2, Manfrotto 244. It's a great, this is, oh, I love this tool. So I can get shots of the cooking side of things, the cutting side of things. And that's what we're going to do now. One Charlie, get rid of the skin and cut it into pieces about the same size. Oh, the smell of this one Charlie is great. I believe the taste. So that's for the conchale. Next, some garlic. Splice it in two. And very important to remove the core of the garlic. This is gonna taste bitter otherwise. This is sufficient. I'm only gonna use this. Next, we have the pepper. Just a little bit. A knife is dull as... And to that we add some fresh basil. It's like... Le tricolore, eh? The three colors. And now, how to make pasta fresca, eh? I always make fresh pasta with this dish. I use these, these semolina flour and zero zero flour. Which this one is more finely ground. 50% of this and 50% of this one. I have to be honest with you, I regained a lot of respect for the people that make these cooking videos. Oh my god, I even have to start cooking. Okay. Don't worry, got this. Okay, Conchala goes in first. Just let it sit there for a second. What you'll notice, it starts sticking to the pan now. And it needs a few seconds to release some fat. You don't need no oil. No oil is needed. Did I mention that you don't need any oil? Look. It's so loose now. Oh, this smell is so delicious, eh? It's releasing all the fat from the meat itself. Look how much. This is this is gonna be fundamentals of the taste of this pasta. The kids are coming home. Hey, Jitsen, have you seen the pasta? Yeah! Ah, will you clean up that mess? <laughs> no. Hmm. So, do you want some uh, pasta? Yeah. Do you want some guanciale as well? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Please clean up that mess. Ja. Opruimen. <laughs> so get it out of there. And now you put the guanciale aside. Next, so now we gotta speed things up. We go in with the garlic, the pepper. Ah, uh, this, this smells so good. And in goes the basil. Now it's time for the fun parts. Remember the vodka? And what's fun about it? Do you even film it? 
This is the fun part, eh? Whoa. Thank you. Next, the tomatoes go in. And when I usually do that, I get two four and I mash them a little bit. Right, and you let this reduce for a while. And because I did some preparations, there's something really important. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. Which one is gonna be suitable for this group? Here. Well, let's take a look at the time. Okay, gotta hurry a little. One of the kids has got to go to soccer training. Remove the basil. Add a generous amount of salt to the pan. Moi, moi. This water has to taste like the Mediterranean Sea. Okay, pasta goes in. Okay, Google, set the timer three and a half minutes. Be generous with the amount of cooking water because it will prevent the pasta sticking together. In the meantime, add a bit of cream. Give it up. Freeze the Got the parsley. Some cheese, some more cheese, some freshly ground pepper. Guanciale on top. Voila! What do you guys think? Pepe, voila! <laughs>